Well, obviously the cat is out the hat when, you know, talking in regards of, you know, what March meant for me. Throughout this whole process, I've seen topics on ESPN, I've seen topics on, you know, social media, and I just wanted to, you know, kind of hit it head on, you know, no pun intended. <laughs> Challenging myself with intimacy was the biggest thing that was going to allow me to really hone in and focus. Because to be honest with you, you know, I shared a little bit, but I'm going to share everything now. I'm going through a trying time in my life where I need things that's going to make me better. I'm coming off sur uh, surgery on my shoulder, and it's a lot of people, you know, that's kind of counting me out. It's also new talent that's coming in that wants my spot for whatever it's worth. It's also, you know, things that I'm seeing through the lens of Cam lost a step. I'm trying to knock all that shit out the park because when I'm focused, I'm dangerous. You know, I'm just gonna be real honest as I promised I would be, you know, for this channel. Challenges comes in many different ways for many different people on many different levels. My biggest challenge comes with intimacy. I think all athletes are vulnerable to a degree. For the whole month of March, I've kind of made that commitment to eliminating that all-encompassing. And to some people, you may be looking at it like, you know, well, that's easy. I, you know, I can go without, you know, I can be abstinent for a certain amount of time. I can practice celibacy. Or I can be celibate, you know, for a certain amount of time. That's you. That's not me. What makes you hurt doesn't make me hurt and vice versa. And I know the things that challenges me as a person is that in itself. And when I was seeing kind of the reviews or when I was seeing kind of the things via social media, even having personal conversations with people, you know, on this, on this particular topic, it all comes around as a joke to some and, and some people take it serious. But for me, I take it extremely serious because it's something that challenges me. And that's kind of how this whole process has been. But I know me internally, as I go through these different things, I, I want to be transparent, I want to be honest, and I want to be real, you know what I'm saying? Intimacy, sex, lust in my, in, my, in my life is something that comes at a rapid pace all the time, as you would imagine, as for anybody who's, you know, in the limelight. You know, to take a step back from that has, you know, opened my eyes in ways that it's like, golly, as a human being, as a man, as a lot of people say, you have two minds. It's easier, it's extremely easier when you eliminate that whole factor of getting lucky. I want people to know how I feel. I want people to see the vulnerability of me. I want, I want people to see flawness in me and not necessarily pick apart at it, but see, you know, perfection in, it, in its own right. You know what I'm saying? I think nowadays we all you know, kind of get to a point where we just try to be a little too perfect. I never wanted to be that person, you know what I'm saying? Straight up, you know, I'm a person who stands by certain bylaws, stands by the morals that I have. And, you know, when a person sees me play football, sees me in an everyday walk of life from, you know, me being a, 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 a great father for my kids, for me being the best quarterback that I could possibly be for the franchise, of the Carolina Panthers and, and everything encompassing from, you know, being a mentor for my all-star team to everything else. I want them to see that Cam did make mistakes, but if he made the mistakes, he, he learned from them, I can learn from Cam as well. And I want people to see my story, to see the things that I've, you know, took myself through or that I've been through and be inspired by it. And it's not for me to judge you and say, oh man, that's not, that's not hard, that's easy. That's for you. But for me, every day that I posted one of those Lotus flowers was a day I was like, man, you know what? I'm one day closer. It shows me that I can control myself. I need to control myself to become a better father. I need to become a better athlete. I need to become a better cam. All in all, man, I've learned a lot and I plan on implementing different other things that's gonna allow me to be a better person when it's all said and done. And, you know, I'm just being candid as if you were talking straight, you know, to me because I may not be able to talk to all my viewers, but I, I just want to kind of share this 
and share this time, you know, kind of highlight certain things that's, that's really been on my mental, that's been on my heart that I wanted to share. And this channel gives me that opportunity. I'm chasing to be a better me. I'm purging myself of, of all things that I feel like is maybe holding me back from my greatness. Like I said, I'm trying to be the best me possible and I can't do that with any distractions or any negative energy that's gonna hold me back. I've found a lot out about myself and I know if I can do this, then the sky's the limit for me. And I know I'm, 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 I'm not perfect, but I wanna do my due diligence and you know, do right by the platform that I do have. You know, there will be things that I won't be proud to say that I've done, but there will always be things that I'm proud to say I've learned from.